Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime. If this is the first time you've ever caught a Nintendo Prime video, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, we're going to be talking about Nintendo's next generation platform because a new report has come out about something happening at NVIDIA that seems to be significantly suggesting that there is massive ongoing development at the moment uh, for Nintendo's next generation platform. And usually when you see something this intense, it typically means something's coming out in the next couple of years. Now, uh, we also have to have a correction statement on an earlier report earlier this year, uh, earlier this week, we talked about Nintendo and their Q&A from their investors meeting, which has now been fully translated in English. And, you know, I talked about how sometimes we can question the, the translations because there's actually evidence in the past of where Nintendo has actually changed wording in the official translation versus what they actually said. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is the official translation, so we have to go off of this. And reports earlier this week from many media outlets, uh, got dozens of them, were that Nintendo was worried about the transition between uh, Nintendo Switch and the next generation platform. That was the consensus. That is what multiple people who said they were at the meeting said, Nintendo said. And as such, we obviously made a video on that. However, the official report has come out, and the question about Nintendo's transition to next generation is in there and honestly there is literally nothing in this official translation that says anything about nintendo being worried at all uh, it does talk about how nintendo's plans you know with the, the the amusement park and the movies and expanding nintendo ip they hope will help with the transition that part was true but for some reason there's no mention of them being worried about transitioning they do say that they know transitioning from switch to next generation is important that's in here uh, but it doesn't sound like they're worried. At least that's not the way the official translation reads out. So I wanted to put that correction out there before we got into the rest of this video just because uh, I think it's important to clarify and correct news when the direct source of the news, Nintendo in this case, provides that correction themselves. So yes, I have the Q&A in front of me. I will link the official Q&A down below if you would like to read it. And yeah, there is no mention of Nintendo being worried. So hey, you know what? This is just what happens when people like me who don't speak Japanese natively and aren't at these meetings are reliant upon people who are at those meetings to provide um, that information to us. Now, let's get into the actual brunt of the video, and this is about the Nintendo Switch 2. At least it seems like this is about the, the Nintendo Switch 2, based on something happening at, at NVIDIA, and we're getting this from tech4gamers.com, because uh, they're the ones who noticed this. Uh, and it says, Nintendo Switch brought a revolution in the world of gaming, as it was the first handheld console that could perform respectively against the likes of traditional consoles. The sale it generates are staggering, especially dominating both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S in Japan, technically dominated in the U.S. as well. It just passed PlayStation 4 and was the leading unit seller in April in right here in the U.S. Uh, the OLED version of the Switch only added to the already well-performing sales. But the problem is that the new games might restrict developers, considering there is always news that Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is too big for Nintendo Switch hardware to handle. That comes from Digital Foundry. Uh, with new games being imported to Nintendo Switch and 4K TVs becoming more common, there's a solid case for a next-generation Nintendo that can produce ultra-high-quality visuals and good performance. However, we haven't had many rumors until now. According to information obtained from an NVIDIA leak that took place some time ago, a new Nintendo Switch might be in the works. And we talked about this, the MVNN2 stuff, which is also used outside of Switch, but also is used inside of Switch. Uh, including NVIDIA's frame rate boosting DLSS technology and purely based on an NVIDIA SoC. And they do have DLSS 2.0, which is really good. And they're working on another version of DLSS right now. Because M NVN is the name of the graphics API used by the Nintendo Switch and, again, a couple other devices, uh, MVN DLSS.CPP, MVNDLSS.CPP, and MVN NVNDLSSBackend.H are all possible references to the Switch in the leak code. Interestingly, that code also mentioned MVN2, implying that next generation Switch is underway. And again, MVN is used for other things. Now, this is all recapping information we already knew about the fact that there is probably something in the works. However, we're not done. Now, a job listing just dropped 
that hints that NVIDIA might be working on graphics developers' tools for the Nintendo Switch 2. And here's what the, the listing says. It, says. it says, Game Console Developer Tools Engineer. First off, note Game Console. There's only one Game Console that NVIDIA Tech is in. Um, so it's a full-time position. Uh, it is. They're actively recruiting. And here's what it says about the job. Are you passionate about 3D graphics, GPUs, and low-level close to the hardware programming have you ever dreamed of helping bring video games to life do you want to work with a fast agile and experienced team are you ready to move at the speed of light nvidia is looking to hire a deeply technical creative and hands-on software engineer to pioneer the next generation of graphics developer tools for game consoles you will work with the nvidia graphics tools team to build tools that enable developers worldwide to harness the full power of nvidia gpus we are looking for a low level programmer to help us provide the best possible experience for game developers seeking to debug and optimize their games and what's interesting in here here is, ta- is is there's additional information along with this listing that's just the, the general information about the job because right now you can go well what if they refer into a different game console all right so scrolling on down um this is the additional stuff it says uh nvidia developer tools are a collection of, so, so you're making developer tools to, to be clear that's what this position is for is to hire development tools all right NVIDIA is looking to hire a deeply technical creative and hands-on software engineer to pioneer the next generation of graphics developer tools. Uh, NVIDIA developer tools are a collection of applications that enable third-party developers to build cutting-edge software that utilizes NVIDIA's latest visual computing hardware. We already know that neither the Xbox Series X or S or the PlayStation 5 use NVIDIA's graphics. Concerning the above leak, it could be possible that the third-party console might be making use of this new tool would be a next-generation Nintendo Switch. In other words, it can be assumed that the listing could probably hint at developer tools for Nintendo Switch 2. Also, here's some here's some requirements of the job listing. Experience developing drivers for graphic cards. Experience with GPU low-level performance tuning and optimization, including profiling and debugging. And that's the one where you got to start looking at Nintendo because when you're talking about them making another handheld, low-level performance tuning and optimization is going to be extremely important. Background in the game industry or in a field that requires high-performance graphics, create graphic profiles features for NVIDIA GPUs, enabling developers to achieve higher and more consistent frame rates, implement graphics debugging features by reading and writing GPU registers, and memory by processing and manipulating GPU commands at the driver level. So what do we learn from all this to, to, to kind of break it all down? NVIDIA is hiring somebody to work in, on a game console GPU that is going to be working at the low level performance tuning and optimization. So at the at the lower power draw performance level tuning and optimization, including profile and debugging, they want to get higher frame rates out of this, et cetera. They're looking at an expert to work on the developer tools for a low power, low level next generation GPU. Uh, and I find this very fascinating because this is the first real hint from NVIDIA themselves publicly. We know about the leak, but publicly that they obviously have something in the works for Nintendo Switch. For those who don't know, NVIDIA had made the developer tools for the Switch. So all the developer tools that everybody who makes games for Nintendo Switch uses are made by NVIDIA. They're not made by Nintendo. They're made by NVIDIA themselves. And it would make sense that they're obviously going to make the developer tools for the new system. And so if they have somebody working on developer tools, clearly that's going to be in dev kits. Clearly that's going to be something that's going to be going out in the next year. And clearly this could lead to the thought process that, hey, a new Nintendo Switch is on its way. Uh, and by the way, they're hiring this person here. It doesn't mean they don't already have people working on these. Devel- it's not like, oh man, they have, they're not working on the developer tools until now. No, they're just hiring another person to work on it because they don't have enough people. Uh, it could be somebody moved on, could, could, you know, whatever, could, onto a new job. Uh, maybe they're just expanding the team, whatever the, whatever might be going on. NVIDIA, I don't work there to understand what's happening. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, this obviously lends a lot of credence to to what's what's going to happen down the line. Well, there's a lot of things you know that people talk about when when referring to Nintendo Switch and and coming up with a, a solution for 4K. We do have things like this uh, enhanced 1080p 4K Gamer Pro that I, I wanted a video done this weekend on, but I just I just didn't get time to do. Uh, but we will have a video on this. We're giving away a couple of these, by the way, uh, during um, Prime Gaming Fest. Uh, these are like 170 bucks each. They're not cheap, uh, but they provide a, a, at least a temporary solution to make Switch look a little bit better in 4K. They don't actually like you know suddenly give the Switch more power. They, it, it's more of a AI enhancing um, you know way to up res. It's not DLSS. It's not FSR. It's just 
something to help a little bit, add a little bit more sharpening, all that stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll actually look into that later so you guys can see the differences because uh, i got to get some direct recording. That's right. I'm actually going to be hooking this up and running into a 4K capture card so I can actually capture native uh, 4K right off of this bad boy at 60 FPS. Uh, so you can actually get a really good look at this because I know a lot of the, the captures I've seen of this aren't into a 4K capture card. Uh, I've, I've seen the 4K Gamer Pro showing off where it's just 1080p footage because that's what their capture card can handle. But I have a true 4K 60 FPS capture card, so I can actually really do a great comparison in full 4K for you guys of what 1080p just looks like at that raw 4K, which is what some people experience on their televisions versus what... 4k looks like with this because tvs also upscale uh this tv back here will upscale the 4k but it, it just tvs aren't the best upscalers because it's really expensive as you just heard 170 bucks for this that's a that's a cheap thing or an expensive thing that people don't aren't going to want to shove into their tvs usually some tvs maybe the more expensive ones i mean this is this tv is not cheap it's three thousand dollars but Anyways, you guys are awesome. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on uh, on this. Do you think this is evidence of new stuff happening with Nintendo Switch 2? Do you think this means Nintendo Switch 2 is coming soon? I know there's an analyst out there that threw a prediction that Nintendo Switch 2 uh, wouldn't launch until 2024. And I've talked about 2024 potentially being a release date for Switch 2 before. Uh, I will note on this that, hey, I do think new hardware is coming sometime in the next, you know, by the end of 2023. Doesn't mean that new hardware is going to be Switch 2. It uh, could be something else. Could end up being an update to the Switch Lite. Could end up just being, uh, you know, the, the fabled Switch Pro that nobody really wants to talk about that much anymore. So we'll see. What we know is something new is happening. Something new is happening in NVIDIA. Something new is happening at Nintendo. Nintendo's talking about next generation. NVIDIA's hiring someone for next generation. I'm just saying the stars are aligning. And now it's the waiting game, the guessing game, until whatever comes out. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.